safely to the beginning of the new day. And may the knowledge of that be the joy that inflames our heart's desire to worship you beyond our limitations. We pray this in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. the Father, Sovereign Lord of the universe, have mercy on us. God the Son, Savior of the world, God the Holy Spirit, giver and preserver of life. God, the Holy Spirit, Sovereign Savior and Holy Spirit, come, Lord Jesus Christ. Come, Son of God and Son of God. Come, Savior of the world. Stir up your power, O Lord, that I come and be solely needed by sins. Let Father forgive and mercy deeply have given us. Amen. of Israel, you appear to Moses in the form of a burning bush at Sinai and gave him the law. Come with outstretched arm to save us. O root of Jesse, you stand the side to the peoples before the silence. Gentiles pray with longing, come now and set us free. O key of David and the ruler of the house of Israel, you open and none can shut, you shut and none can open. Come and lead out of the prison house the captives who sit in darkness. I'm the shadow of death. O oh, morning star, you are the splendor of eternal light. You are the dawning sun, sun of justice. Come and enlighten those who sit in darkness. I'm the shadow of death. O oh, King of the nations and the fulfillment of their longing, you are the cornerstone and you make all one. 
You formed us from primeval clay. Come and save us. O oh, Emmanuel, our King and Giver of the Law, the people awaits you, their Savior. Come and save us, O oh Lord our God. Almighty and eternal God, purify our hearts and minds that when your Son Jesus Christ comes again in glory, he may find in us a home prepared for himself, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Jesus, Savior of the world, come to us in your mercy. As we continue our Advent pilgrimage, looking forward to the birth of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, beloved, let us in prayer, in praise and song, give voice to the hope set forth in the scriptures that Christ's kingdom shall come. offer ourselves and you as witnesses to the advent of Christ's glory, seeking to bring Christ's light and love to those who sit in darkness. Praise the Lord. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And so we pray the collect for purity. Almighty God, Jesus says, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. And so let us turn away from our sins and turn to Jesus, confessing our sins in penitence and in faith. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, in penitence we confess against you through our own fault in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have left undone for the sake of your Son, Christ our Lord, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on you, Pardon your sins and set you free from them. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. We pray the colic for today.
God of Joseph and Mary, fulfill Joseph's dream and make us heralds of your salvation. Through Jesus Christ, our Emmanuel, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. first reading is from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Again the Lord spoke to Ahaz saying, ask a sign of the Lord your God. Let it be deep as Sheol or high as heaven. But Ahaz said, I will not ask and I will not put the Lord to the test. And then Isaiah said, Hear then, O house of David, is it a little for you to weary mortals that you weary my God also? Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Look, the young woman is with child and shall bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel. He shall eat curds and honey. By the time he knows how to refuse the evil and choose the good. For before the child knows how to refuse the evil and choose the good, the land before whose two kings you are in dread will be deserted. The Lord will bring on you and on your people and on your ancestral house such days as have not come since the day that Ephraim departed from Judah, the king of Assyria. Hear the word of the Lord. Our psalm is Psalm 80. It's found on the pew leaflets. I will lead with the uneven bus. Ya, O shepherd of Israel, you that led Joseph like a flock, you that are enthroned upon the cherubim, shine out in glory. Restore us again, O Lord of hosts. Show us the light of your countenance and we shall be saved. You have fed them with the bread of tears and given them tears to drink in good measure. Restore us again, O Lord of hosts. Show us the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. And so we shall not turn back from you. Give us life, and we will call upon your name. to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and will be forever. Amen. A 
reading from Romans 1, verses 1 to 7. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised beforehand through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures. The gospel concerning his son, who was descended from David according to the flesh, and was declared to be son of God, with power according to the spirit of holiness by resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ our Lord, through whom we have received grace and apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith among all the Gentiles for the sake of his name, including yourselves who are called to belong to Jesus Christ. To all God's beloved in Rome who are called to be servants, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Hear the word of the Lord.
speak in the name of God, beloved. Often in our reflection on the story of Joseph and Mary, the emphasis tends to be on the obedience of Mary. And Joseph emerges with certain prominence and then little while he disappears, he is the escort to Africa, to Egypt, and is there at the time of the appearance in the temple, and where at the day's journey, the caravans meet of women and men, and they discover that their son, their firstborn, is not with them, and then the hurry trace back, and then the only way Joseph then appears within gospel narrative is by virtue of his trade as a carpenter. The significance of his trade is also that it was very much in demand by the Roman emperor, by the empire, because it was skills that was needed in construction as the empire was also very effective in terms of providing a infrastructure, aqueducts, sewage, and all the apparatus of dominance and control that they did very persuasively and very effectively and co-opted the local workforce. And so Joseph was not just the romantic image of the carpenter in the background, but was very much in the foreground of securing his livelihood and that of his family in the shadow of the Roman Empire. But there is also an aspect of today's reading which is that of a love story of a man who courts, wins the heart of a young virgin in his village and in their coming together, they represent two tensions. One of the priestly caste on the side of Mary and the link with David, the lineage of David, it is there. But it is in a most extraordinary way that the, the details of Jesus' genealogy is laid out. There's Tamar, who's not a Jew, a Jewess. There's Hagar, a sex worker of the day. There's Bathsheba in her relationship with David. And so in there, the, 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 the prominence of the visibility of the women in the genealogy also speaks to not only the vulnerability of the flesh, but it also talks about the inclusion in the salvation story of the Gentile aspect of global humanity at that time and period. And so both the diversity but also the variations of morality that is then evident in the way Joseph is represented. Even if particular by the symbolism of his lineage. Because if the DNA is that of the Holy Spirit, then it is a most peculiar and particular manifestation of the divine, hitherto unspoken about in salvation history. That Mary or Miriam becomes the bride of the Holy Spirit. But let us just return very fleetingly again to this love story, this courting moment, and it is also a relationship that is regulated by the norms and standards of the culture of the day. Very patriarchal and very much the relegation of the woman to that of the property of the man. And so while she is in the house of a father, access to her and 
the sexual intimacy that was afforded to the man in the engaged process was there for him, but he also knew that he had not slept with this young woman. And then in the passage of the period of betrothal, he finds out that she is with child. And so he has to do within the honor-based currency of the day to save his own face and yet keep the dignity of this young woman in terms of her marriage available availability in the future. Scripture says he decides to quietly separate from her. And maybe she would have then be sent out to a further outlying village to quietly bear and bring to birth this child that is now cloaked in shame. But while he's considering this, there's an engagement of a supernatural uh, visitation and he is in told and he believes the dream. How many of us who have had dreams and we also t told these days by psychologists that the dream is not always as obvious as what it seemed. The dream could be speaking about your deepest fears and your anxiety but in this instance this man Cause with the plan as laid out. And so his obedience ensures the fulfillment of the salvation plan. And he is accorded naming rights. As the father, he can give the name of the child. And he gives the name Yeshua, the Hebrew for Savior. And in that awkwardness, in that humility, in that indecision, am I doing the right thing? He obeys. And it is an important thing for us to be mindful of, whereas we have the incredible obedience of Mary. There is also the nature of love in the person of Joseph who agrees to be part of the salvation plan in a way that maybe in later years, you know, how many times he might have been standing in the, in the, in the work shed with young Jesus and look, you know, something of his character what about something about his masculinity and his DNA? Is this evident in my son? And yet the path of love is one of obedience that leads us to what the early church fathers used to say, that God writes straight with a crooked pen. And sometimes we are the crooked pens. A man sees a person begging on the street and he prays to God and he says, why don't you do something about the plight of the poor in the land? And in his dream, God says to this man who questions the ways of God, and God says, yes, I did do something that is why you were born. And likewise, Joseph steps onto the stage of salvation. He says his line, but he says it out of a conviction with a clarity of which he doesn't perhaps understand. But he does love this woman, Mary. But moreover, his love of a sensual, erotic nature tunes him to the love of Yahweh. The God
God who is always with us. And in the sorry times that we are living in, and I won't repeat the litany of everything that we're going and that's wrong in our country. This carnival of clowning that's happening at Nasdaq at this moment, where there is not even a willingness to say we have messed up. This country is far worse than we've ever had it. There is not a willingness just to move away from the self-indulgence and to say, but we are called to serve, to be the crooked pens in the hands of liberation and of a God that is ever with us. It's not going to happen today. It's not going to happen very soon until we see how we are the answers to God's prayer, not Mandela, not whoever we align in the cause of the righteous fighting angels, but we ourselves will always free ourselves because we open the prison doors of Robben Island. We, and I mean here in the most inclusive sense of we, the workers of the land, that baptize this cathedral, the people's cathedral. It is the we, it is the I and I of our collective conscience and energy that will keep politicians honest because as long as we look to the God above and not to the divine within ourselves, politicians will run roughshod over us respect to Allah self and they do not love us unless there's an immediacy and so like of our challenge and the threat to their future livelihood but in this moment of the now the challenge is to us as in the person of Joseph he awoke from his dream Let us awake from our dreams of an Azania, of an Mzansi, of a South Africa that is only being born by our will and our might and our labor and our sacrifice and our commitment. And let us name the unnamed freedom of unfulfilled prosperity, of the empty pot of the electoral process and of all the ways that we live the dream for others to flourish and to live the bounty of what should be the majority of our people and let us be the way God make the dreams of others come
Let us pray. In the expectation of Christ coming to redeem and save us, let us pray to the Lord. Come to your church as Lord and Judge. Open our minds to know your will and give us the grace of obedience and faithfulness. We pray for Tabu, our Archbishop and Metropolitan, for Joshua, our Bishop, for Michael, our Dean, for the clergy and for all the people of God. Help us to live in the light of your coming and give us a longing for your kingdom. Come, Lord Jesus. Come and break upon us for day spring from on high. Come to your world as King of the nations. Reveal to us the mystery of creation, that we may be faithful stewards of its bounty. Make us earnest for justice and instill in us the yearning for peace. We pray for the leaders of all the nations, for our president, our premier, and our mayor. Help us to live in the justice of your reign and give us a longing for your peace. Come, Lord Jesus. Come and break upon us, O day spring from on high. Come to those who suffer as Savior and Comforter. Be near to those who are without the resources for healthy and fulfilled lives. Break into our lives when we struggle with sickness and are weighed down by anxiety and stress. Help us to live in the light of your power to heal and give us a longing for the fullness of life you offer. At this time, we ask for prayers for our cathedral community. We especially ask for prayers for David Harris, Morley McGadler, Charmaine Johnson, Joan Coulson, Walter Looney, Margaret Salberg, Glenda Wilskett, Walter McCure, Titania Fernandez, Gladys Griffith, Sheila Wida, Anya Numdu, Nazima Ibrahim, and Di Harvey. Come, Lord Jesus. Come and break upon us, O day spring from on high. Come to us as shepherd and guardian of our souls. Support us in this life that we may live now in the confidence of your everlasting mercy and give us the grace to look forward to your coming again power and great glory to take us where you live and reign forever. We remember those who have died and for those whose years mind occurs at this time. Give us with all the faithful departed a share in your victory over evil and death. Come, Lord Jesus. Come and break upon us, O day spring from on high. Come to us, O God who created the world and sent your own Son to live among us. Breathing the same air, marveling at sunrise and sunset just as we do, help us to participate in the life around and within us as your life, as you living in us and we living in you and in each other. God of love and life, restore us to your peace, renew us through your power and teach us to love all that you have created and to care for the earth as your guilt and our home. Come, Lord Jesus. Come and break upon us, O day spring from on high. Come to us, merciful God, as we continue to build a future measured in an abundance of life for all. Let us not be seduced by despair, but fired by the dream of a better South Africa, a country filled with promise and hope. Come, Lord Jesus. Come and break upon us, O day spring from on high. Come from God's right hand, Lord Jesus Christ. Come with power and great glory. Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Prepare, prepare us, us to, to meet, meet you, you, that we Jesus. may live now in the light of your grace and anticipate your coming in glory. And may I just draw your attention to the inside portion of the pew leaflet. All the services are 
played out uh, the midnight mass. Please take note of the time and Christmas Day. We have uh, those who are able to attend a lovely array of voices, especially the ones who are identified here in the space of soprano and tenor and the musicians that will be on hand. Our office closes, the cathedral office closes as from tomorrow. There will be a, a little bride that the staff is organizing and then the bulk of the staff will, then will be off till the new year, except the skeleton staff, though I don't suppose you can call Father Marcus and myself skeleton staff, but the clergy will be here and also our budget. Uh, Gregory and um, looking forward to the year ahead um, if you would like to give gifts to particularly the hospitality staff those who clean and always make sure that the cathedral is in a good shape that it is in um, it would be nice to welcome them back next year with some gifts from yourself as a congregation that would be wonderful and then uh, I must apologize, you know, we have got many birthdays and it was, uh, and one particularly want to celebrate big occasions and it was um, the Rainerfelds, Veronica and Chris had their 40th wedding anniversary. L yesterday, last week, last week. Uh, I can't, my eyes are not so delicious what 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 does that sign say? Okay, everybody heard what it is. I don't know why Chris looks so proud of himself. But a, a, a blessed and a wonderful celebration and the sterling example that you provide on the path of love. So let me not be guilty of any other sins of omission, any big, big days that is being celebrated here. Otherwise, we look forward to tonight. Uh, there'll be... Danke, Abby. Okay, I don't want to go speech terrain. I hear you, I hear you, but can, can I just say duly noted and then we proceed. That is the tyranny of democracy. So uh, all, all things duly noted, and we, we, we wish you a retroactive others who, uh, uh, you know, the, the birthday of Anchi rode on, and we pray that it will be a most blessed and a wonderful time. And for those who will not be able to be here on Christmas Day that go to all other places, uh, have a safe journey and looking forward to seeing you in the meantime for next year. But for now, let us share God's peace with each other. May the peace of the risen Lord be with you always.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this prayer to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, for us it becomes the bread of life. Yes, God. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit to the vine and work of human hands, for us it becomes the cup of salvation. Yes, God. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, it is our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. And now we give you thanks because the day of our deliverance has dawned, and through Jesus, you will make all things new, as he comes in power and triumph to judge the world. And so we join the angels and the saints in proclaiming your glory as we sing. Wabanika bafundi baake ya siti. Tabata ni nitle. Logo nzima wama nikalelu wa nina. Oku kwa nzele ni. Uku di kumbula. Kanantala wemba kwa sitlo sangokutlo wa. 
Watabata in Debe Waza a Kubebele le Kue Wabani Kaya City Selani Kuyanonke Kuba Lelegazi Lam no Copies of Omcha, a little lella nina, Nabaninzi, Ukuza, is on as a colored way. Gama Kayasha Onke and Isikubanisela Kuyo, Oku Quenzeleni, Uku de Kumbul. So we proclaim the mystery of faith. The Raylans does say, Dwight in upstanding on all, offer ons for ye, here he brought in here picker. Father, ons thank you that you ons waarde gemaakt het om in u teenwoordigheid te staan en u te dien. Ons vraag u om u heilige geest op die offer van die heilige kerk neer te stuur. Voor enig amal wat in die heilige verborgenhede deelneem, vervul hulle met die heilige geest en bevestig hulle geloof in die waarheid, so dat ons die saam mag loof in u die die dienaar Jesus Christus mag verheerlik. Alle eer in die eerlijkheid, sê aan u, Vader en Seen, met die Heilige Geest en die Heilige Kerk, nou en verewig. Amen. En so as Christ has taught us, we are bold to sing. Bread which we break is another sharing of the body of Christ. Only and receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ which he gave for you and his blood which he shed for you. 
be thine name in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Behold who we are.
give thanks unto the Lord, for God is gracious. Father Almighty, we offer ourselves to you as a living sacrifice in Jesus Christ our Lord. Send us out into the world in the power of the Holy Spirit to love and work to your praise and glory. May Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine upon you, scatter the darkness from your path, and make you ready to meet him when he comes in glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you, and remain with you always. Stand. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord.